Hi there, it's Manny with Daddy Cool Records in St. Petersburg, Florida. Here to talk with you about Record Store Day Drops 2021. We're gonna highlight records that are coming out on the June 12th drops. First off, a couple quick rules uh, for Daddy Cool Records with Record Store Day Drops. We are accepting walk-ins beginning at 945. If you do not have an appointment prior to that time, do not show up until 945 because we are not going to be able to let you in if you don't have an appointment. Once again, walk-ins start at 945. If you have an appointment between 8 and 930, you're golden. Show up when your appointment time is. But if you don't have an appointment, please wait until the 945 walk-in time. Please wear a mask. We are cashless with our payments as well. All right, that's the quick overview. Let's take a, do a deep dive into these Record Store Day titles. We're gonna take segments of the Record Store Day list and go into them a little bit more in depth. Earlier, we did the hot, hot, hot titles. Today, we're gonna go into the live recordings. Um, there may be a seven inch or something that have, or a 10 inch that have some live songs, but right now we're just gonna concentrate on the 12 inch records. All right, so first up, we have AWOL Nation, Angels, my Angel Miners and Lightning Riders 2020. Um, this is live in the studio. It was recorded in 2020. It is a complete recording of AWOL Nation's previous album. They couldn't go out on tour, so they did the whole thing live in the studio for their fans, and they're releasing it on Record Store Day. It is limited to 1,500. We have two, and they're 1998. Um, next up, we have the Brummies, live at Grimey's. We love Grimey's Records in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, if you want to see the Brummies, you have a couple chances. They're going to be playing July 4th at the Cuban Club with Sister Hazel. And then they'll be coming back again November 27th as a headliner at Crowbar. So you can get in, um, get, a, get in advance of what the show might be like because this is their live at Grimey's set that they performed in 2020 to promote their second release. This is limited to 750 copies. We have one and it's 16.98. All right, next up we have Albert Collins with The Barrel House. This was recorded in 1978 in the Netherlands. Uh, Barrel House was a European band. They invited Albert Collins to come play with them. It's a smoking set. It's on red and white vinyl. There are 1,500 copies. We have one and it is $29.98. Next up, we have Larry Coryell at the Village Gate. This was recorded in January of 1971. This repress has 1,500 copies. We have two, and they're $24.98. Def Leppard, live at Oxford. This was recorded in 1980. There were 4,000 press. We have one, it is $34.98. Um, also, you can check out the list on our website, daddycool.com. If you go to that site, you'll see a tab that says RSD Drops 2020. You can click that tab, and from there, you can check out the RSD Drops prices and quantities, and you'll see all the records that we have in stock ready to go for Record Store Day, how many we have, and how much they cost. But next up, Echo and the Bunnymen, live in Liverpool. This was recorded in 2001. It is a double LP, double LP on clear vinyl. There are 3,500 copies. We have two, and they're $32.98. Next up, we have Ella Fitzgerald, Ella in Berlin. This is a really unique title. Um, there, it's a 12 inch with four songs, four, four, different, four different tracks, let's say. Two songs, Summertime and Mac the Knife. Um, each have a recording from 1960 and 1962. It has some very interesting, fun vinyl technology with it. So depending on where you drop the needle, you will hear either the 1960 or the 1962 version. So one side has Mac the Knife, the other side has Summertime. So that's really cool. Those are um, limited to 4,000 pressings. We have one and it is 1898. Next up, Fontaine's DC. I am totally gonna butcher where they played. So we're just gonna tell you that it was a former prison. It's now a museum in Dublin. Um, it was recorded in July of 2020 to no audience um, other than the crew. There were 3,500 pressed. 
We have 10 of them and they are $29.98. Next up, Ariana Grande. Okay, bye for now. Um, this is available on a two CD set, which is $19.98. And we have two of those, as well as a three LP set. 750 of the three LP sets, 7,500 rather, of the three LP sets were pressed. We have 10 and they are $38.98. Next up, Grateful Dead. Live at the Olympia Theater. This is a six LP set. This is the complete concert from May 3rd, 1972. 6,700 were pressed in the US. We have seven and they're $129.98. All righty, next up we have Donny Hathaway live. This was recorded in 1971. This reissue has 5,000 copies pressed. We have five and they're $24.98. Next up, a jazz gem from Harold Land called Westward Bound. This features live recordings of the tenor saxophonist in Seattle, Washington at the Penthouse. Recordings from 1962, 1964, and 1965. It's a double LP cut by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio. There are a thousand of these. We have two of them and they're $49.98. Next up, we have a live album from Maria McKee. She actually has two Record Store Day releases. Um, the live in Hamburg um, was recorded in 2003 while Maria McKee was on tour to support her album High Dive. So both the live in Hamburg and High Dive are available here. 500 were pressed. We have one of each and they're $31.98 each. Next up, we have Thelonious Monk, Palo Alto, The Custodians Mix. This is a unearthed, recently unearthed concert from 1968. It was released in 2020 after it was cleaned up. But this one here is the original tapes, The Custodians Mix from that high school gym in Palo Alto, California. 4,400 were pressed. We have one, it is $25.98. And as of right now, we still have one copy of the 2020 release as well that's all cleaned up. Robert Plant, live at Nebworth Festival. This is a four track EP. It features Jimmy Page on guitar. Um, it is not the complete performance from Nebworth, but it is four tracks. It is four, there are 4,700 copies of this. We have three and it is $16.98. Next up, we have a double shot of live releases from the police. Boston 1979 on the Regatta de Blanc tour, as well as Atlanta in 1983 on the Synchronicity tour. Both, cop both are limited to 4,000 per title. For each of them, we have two and they are both $35.98. Next up, Iggy Pop, live at the channel, also in Boston. This is on some cool colored splattered vinyl. It's a double LP. This was recorded in 1988. It's the full show. There are 3,000 copies out there. We have two of them, $34.98 on the Iggy Pop. Next up, we have Rage Against the Machine, The Battle of Mexico City. This was recorded in 1999. It is on red and green vinyl. There are 12,350 copies. We have 15. They are $31.98. Tears for Fears, live at Massey Hall. This was recorded in 1985 on the Songs from the Big Chair tour. It is a double LP, 3,500 were pressed. We have four and they are $34.98. Next up, 21 Pilots, Location Sessions. This has three live tracks from the Trench Tour, as well as a live from outside version of their 2020 single titled Level of Concern. There were 16,000 pressed. We had 15 of them and they are 12 98 each. All right, next up we got something really cool. The Golden Gate Groove, The Sound of Philadelphia, live in San Francisco, 1973. This was recorded at the CBS Records Convention. This is the Philadelphia International Records roster performing with the label's house band, 
MFSB. The, uh, this is a, I believe a double LP. The intro by, there's an intro by Don Cornelius. So, you know, peace, love, and soul. In addition to MFSB, we have Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes, Three Degrees, Billy Paul, and the OJs. A smoking, smoking set from 1973 for all those fat cat record execs from CBS. 20, I'm sorry, 2,100 were pressed. We have three and it is 27.98. Next up, this is uh, really interesting. Probably it took me maybe three or four times to read it to understand exactly what was going on. So this is Mo Chilla Presents Timeless. This was recorded in 2009 in Los Angeles. And basically there are gonna be three releases, two of them for this drop and one for the next drop. So the two releases for this drop, Mulatu Astake, as well as Arthur Barokai. Um, both of these shows, they're from 2009, both of these shows um, bookend the release titled Sweet for Ma Dukes, a tribute to Jay Dilla. So we're gonna see that one in July, the July drops. But for this one, we have these two from Mo Chilla. Um, it, it, it is featuring you know, each of the artists along with other musicians from the Los Angeles area. Each are limited to 2,000 copies. We have three of the Mulatu Astake, which you can find in the jazz section. And we have two of the Arthur Verokai, which you can find in our world music section. Both are $31.98. Alrighty, once again, hopefully we will see you on Record Store Day, June 12th. Check out our list on our website. If you have any questions, just let us know. Thank you.